Now, it's one of the rarest plants in the UK. In fact, the spiked rampion only survives at nine sites, all of them in East Sussex. But scientists are working to bring them back from the brink of extinction. And today, the Species Recovery Trust have, for the first time, planted out a number of young spiked rampions that have been grown from seed by experts from the Millennium Seed Bank near Ardingly. Our environment correspondent, Yvette Austin, has tonight's special report. <laughs> Letting in the light, creating a clearing in the woodland to give the new plants their best chance of success. Spiked rampion is a woodland wild flower, but as our woods have become overgrown, has held on in some unlikely places like this road verge, where a few years ago seeds were gathered. And it's from those seeds, which have been stored at minus 20 degrees in the Millennium Seed Bank, the new plants have been grown. This seed collection is immensely valuable. Without these, there is a, a, a quite a grave danger that this plant will become extinct in the wild. Um, so we can draw upon this seed collection and um, use it to produce plants to create more robust populations. So under the expert care of horticulturalists at Wakehurst Place, 26 have been raised for today's planting. It's not been easy. They are quite difficult to grow in terms of um, germination. Uh, this is a batch that was sown last October. Um, they need uh, cold winter temperatures in order to germinate. So we sowed 1,000 seeds and only 123 seedlings remain from that batch. Finally, the day experts have been waiting for. The plants have flowered in their pots and are now dormant. Time to boost numbers at one of the flower's most fragile sites. They are increasing just in a tiny way. All we're doing really is giving them a helping hand and just getting the numbers up. It's all about cross-pollination with these and we need enough plants that the bees can actually find one and move to the next and hopefully we get a healthy population which is breeding on its own. So now it's all down to nature. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Arkfield.